All right, check one, check two. Here we go. Salute to Knicks Nation on this Saturday afternoon. Matinee edition of Knicks Fan TV reporting to you live from Studio B. So don't have all my equipment, but we're still going to have a great show because Team USA was in action in the Philippines for their first matchup in FIBA World Cup group play. And they got an easy win, man. 99-72 to over New Zealand. And this one was uh, after a interesting first quarter. Things got a little bit tight. Team USA trying to get a feel for their opponent. After that, it was pretty much easy peasy. And this one was led by Paolo Bancaro, especially in the third quarter. Bancaro really broke out. Had about an eight-point run all by himself late in the third and really just started to dominate. The, the New Zealand team had no answers for Boncaro. He was really out there showing off his three-level scoring ability. A very promising player for the Orlando Magic and, and very interesting to see how he plays in his sophomore season with the Magic because uh, he was loud, lights out today. So uh, Boncaro led the way with 21 points in an easy session for him, 8 of 10 shooting from the field. For our guys, Captain America, Captain Clutch, Jalen Brunson chipped in with 10 points four rebounds, and four assists. Uh, easy day for JB, man. Very easy day for JB. Really had uh, no, no effort, no problems with this New Zealand defense. Uh, on the defensive side, he was tested, though. He found himself on the other side of a couple of mismatches a few times. New Zealand did try to exploit his size there, but JB was able to hold it down. I believe he drew two offensive fouls as well, especially in the second half. And so uh, he had certainly had his moments in this game. A couple off-ball shots that he knocked down, a couple of impressive drives, as is usual, as is the usual for a guy, Jalen Brunson. So 10 points, four assists, four rebounds for Jalen Brunson in this game. Our guy Josh Hart got into the game as well, and Hart would finish with let's go to the box score here Hart finished with five points and four boards five points and four boards uh on the lower third there it says two points and and, and one rebound two assists no for josh hart it was five points four rebounds in that game and so josh hart was able to get in there he locked 15 minutes in the game so uh, not a bad effort man you even got to see the Villanova trio of Hart, Brunson, and Mikhail Bridges getting some run there together in late in the fourth quarter. And for Josh Hart, uh, I talked about this. I was on a podcast yesterday, the No Trade Clause podcast, and one of the perceived weaknesses of this USA team is their lack of size and their inability to rebound. We saw them having trouble on the boards against Germany. They had trouble a little bit on the boards against Spain. Those teams that can deploy much bigger front courts, NBA caliber front courts. You talk about the, the Hernan Gomez brothers for Germany. It was Daniel Tice. You know when they when they face if they face a Lithuania, they'll have to tango with Jonas Valanciunas. So there are some teams in this tournament that could give the USA front court a little bit of trouble when it comes to rebounding. So that's why it's important for a guy like a Josh Hart to get out there because they may need him, although he's undersized, his ability to track the ball off the rim, his ability to grab rebounds, use his size, use his physicality to grab boards is going to be very important. It's going to be very important for the team as a whole to snatch rebounds because as good as Jaron Jackson Jr. has been, especially on the defensive front, he's been a menace. Uh, rebounding isn't necessarily his strongest suit. And so the USA, although they are versatile, they will be susceptible to rebounds, to giving up opposing rebounds. And so that's why a guy like a Josh Hart is going to be important in this tournament. When we look at the box score of the game, so to everybody in the chat, hit that thumbs up button for you boys. USA did get the rebounding edge over New Zealand, 41 to 33. New Zealand playing without their guy, Stephen Adams. I guess Stephen Adams is getting ready for the NBA season, so he's not out there with the uh, with the breakers and doing the haka and everything as they did in the pregame. 23 points off of turnovers for Team USA, 22 fast break points, and only six for New Zealand. And so that's what Steve Kerr wants to do. He wants to get out there, speed up the pace, up the tempo, and get easy buckets in transition. When you're playing with Brunson, when you're playing with Halliburton, Austin Reeves as well, these guys are out and running. These guys are going out getting out to the races, 
and trying to get easy buckets. Anthony Edwards as well, Mikal Bridges. So they certainly have the horses to get out there and get themselves some easy buckets. 40 points in the paint for Team USA and 54 points off the bench. Obviously, that's what you expect with a deep and versatile USA team. So this was an easy one. Their group's going to be easy. They, they, I, they shouldn't have any issues in their group. They will take on Greece on Monday. That's at 840 a.m. Eastern time. Greece playing without Giannis Atentacupo, without the Greek freak. But they do have his brother, former Nick Tenasis, if you guys care about that. So we shouldn't have any issues with, uh, with Greece e either. And this was a good opening round matchup for the Knicks. Salute to everybody in the chat, man. I see my franchise channel members in the building. Salute to Gregory Weiner. JJ from Brooklyn never misses a show. Jamaica Queens always in here. Shout out to Nick Ferry. Dermot Morris, my Jamaican brother, what's good? Mr. Dons, how you feeling? Mr. Dons in here. Joshua Carrick says, AO franchise. How you guys feeling, man? How you guys feeling on this Saturday? Yeah, quick rapid fire live for this one. Once again, Team USA with a 99-72 to 72 easy victory over New Zealand. Our guys, Jalen Brunson and Josh Hart, chipped in on this victory. 10 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists for JB. And 5 points, 4 boards for Josh Hart in this one. Who else we got in here? Uh, Dr. D-Roy Bramwell, D-Roy, salute. Junior Caroma says Josh Hart so valuable to any team. Absolutely. And it, look, even though this was a blowout victory, he showed a little bit of his versatility, uh, a two-way versatile player in this game. Grabbed a key rebound in the fourth quarter. On the other end, he was rewarded for a nice elbow three-pointer. And that was courtesy, I believe, Boncaro had fed him for that one. So... It was, uh, Josh Hart certainly got a nice run in there. But, I mean, boy, oh, boy, Paolo Bancaro really just overpowered this New Zealand team. Very impressive three-level scoring bag that he unleashed on this New Zealand team. And, and that's the, the balance of this USA squad because you can go with Jaron Jackson Jr., who's more defensive-oriented, defensive-focused, and then you can go to Bancaro at the backup five. He's going to space the floor for you provide you with the scoring opportunities, and play some defense himself. He was out there uh, protecting the paint, protecting the rim for Team USA, and overall just giving us a good lift. Shout out to Corey Mitchell, Franchise Channel members. Franchise Channel members are deep in here today. For the peace, says our guy showing up. Absolutely. Jamaica Queen says USA needs to stop starting too slow. Well, we'll see how they fare against Greece in that regard. I'm going to chalk it up to the, this is a new opponent. You got to feel them out, see how they look and make your adjustments. Give credit to New Zealand. Obviously, they didn't have the talent to keep up with Team USA. Team USA was able to pull away at the end, but they were moving the ball fairly well, and they were getting the ball around the perimeter trying to, to get some easy baskets, but Team USA was just too much for them. Team USA also talked about, there's a lot of articles about how Team USA was going to adjust to the time difference being in the Philippines, so... I would chalk all of that up to, to you know, the, the slow start. And, and we'll see how they fare as the tournament progresses. Darlene Bryant, Josh Hart did well rebounding. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Paolo will be a great pro. Yeah, Paolo's going to be a beast. He, he's going to be a superstar. No question about it. JB looking ready for the season. Stop console wars. Salute. John Talento always in here. Always first. Talento always... Makes his presence known every show he's in here. So shout out to John Talento. So, so that's it. Quick live, rapid fire live. Canada will be in action tomorrow. Very, very early tomorrow. RJ and the gang will be in action. And once again, they're going to take on Lebanon. And that's at 545 Eastern time. So whenever I catch the replay of that, I'm watching these games on. Some of you guys were asking where to catch the games FIBA has a, a watch plan. It's $10 for the whole tournament. I just went ahead and, and, and bought it. I can't bother looking for alternative sources and, and unreliable links and whatnot. So I just went ahead, spent the 10 bucks, got the package, courtesy, official from the, from the FIBA basketball website, courtside 1891. And you get to watch everything. You get to watch it on demand, rewind, fast forward, all that good stuff. And so... I'll be checking that one on the replay. I'll be replay gang for that Canada-Lebanon game, but uh, we'll be live at some point on Sunday. 
to give you our reactions to that one. And then we'll have Nick's weekly Sunday night. So that is how the KFTV lineup is looking. But look back on the channel, man. We got a ton, a ton of fire content that we've had all off season long from guest appearances from Kevin O'Connor from The Ringer. Mike Vorkanoff and I touched on the Knicks lawsuit against the Raptors. We had a great spirited show on that one. You had Frank Isola making his appearance on the show. We got a ton, a ton of great content for you guys. So make sure you click on the Knicks Fan TV channel page. Click on the videos, click on live, click on shorts. YouTube has now categorized each video, each piece of content as such. So sometimes you may look on the channel and you think things are missing. It's just because YouTube is organizing that content in that way. So you have videos, you have live, you have shorts. So make sure you guys are clicking on those tabs. Make sure you don't miss anything. And also, remember, hit that thumbs up button for you boys. Hit that like button. Hit the share button. And subscribe to the channel, man. Number one Nick show for the fans, by the fan. Number one Knicks podcast for the fans, by the fans. Remember to salute our sponsors. Support our sponsors. Manscaped.com. Promo code KFTV for 20% off plus free shipping. And also salute to our other sponsors, Caldera Labs and NBA 2K Mobile. Dr. D. Roy Bramwell is asking, are the games on ESPN Plus? Yeah, I believe the Team USA games will be on ESPN and ESPN Plus, if I'm not mistaken. Now, for the other games, Canada, if you want to watch Fournier in France, you want to watch Lithuania, you're going to have to use the FIBA Basketball app or the FIBA Basketball on-demand uh, live stream. And that's, uh, that's... Let me drop the link to the FIBA Basketball where you can watch it. I'll drop the link in the chat right here. And there you go. So that link is in the chat for those of you that want to watch the official FIBA stream, catch up on all the games if you're interested in such. For the peace, KFTV rocking hard, great summer. Yeah, absolutely, man. There, there is no off season for KFTV. We're, we're locked in, we're dialed in, and we're ready for the season to come, man. It's, it's, it's vastly approaching. It's August 26th right now. Summer is basically wrapping up. Hope you guys are able to get outside, enjoy the weather. Enjoy your free time. Enjoy summer, however that looks for you. And, and get ready. Because the season is vastly, vastly approaching. And I'm getting a text here from JD. Let's see what JD has to say, man. JD never sleeps. He's always on the internet combing through content. Okay, shout out to JD. Shout out to Alex. Shout out to the team. Shout out to Gamble. Shout out to TM. Barbara Carroll in the chat. Salute. And that's that, man. So, see you guys on Sunday. Canada recap. KFTV Weekly. Let's go, man. Everybody, enjoy your day. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe out there and enjoy it. Franchise, I'm out of here. Peace.